right, here we go, round two, Titcom Basin. We do about 30 miles total. See how the weather holds up. We're two members light. Couldn't convince the whole group to do another uh, 30 mile trek, but we're going in anyway. 30 miles, we're gonna go up to Titcom Basin, probably do a little bit on the CDT. Another great day in the winds. Sweet home for the night. Did a little over seven miles plus the eight we did earlier, so just a little over 15. This is Barbara Lake. Just amazing. Pretty long day with the drive and the flat tire and everything, but we're gonna hit the, hit the hay a little early tonight. I've stayed at worse places though. Morning of day four in the winds, just leaving Barbara Lake. It's about 8.30, got a really late start. We were trying to dry some stuff out because there's a lot of condensation next to the lake. Overall, didn't sleep well, but still a great night, great campsite. Headed actually up into Titcomb Basin, which would be awesome. Probably camp around there, and we might push a longer day tomorrow just to get back since the rest of our group is uh, sitting back at camp waiting for us to get done, so. Another beautiful day in the winds. Look at Titcomb Basin. Pretty amazing. The flowers are just awesome here too. More water rushing once you get close to Titcomb. Most of the time it's just a lot of little streams. This one's pretty nice though. Here's the first actual good look at Titcomb Basin. What a place. So what's for lunch, Rose? Sausage, cheese stick, and a view. And a
gorgeous place. We got rain coming right behind us. It's coming. It's coming. What do you guys think? Titcomb Basin. Have you been to worse places? A couple. Yeah, it's awesome. Still not done. Still not done, but I don't know if the view is going to get any better than we got right here. Plus the rain's coming. See you later, Titcomb Basin. You were awesome. Another great day. Got about 15.6 miles in. Went up and back, Titcomb Basin. Now we're just uh, a little bit into the CDT. And uh, we're just going to kind of play it by ear and see how tomorrow goes. Got a little bit of a storm coming in behind us, so it's probably going to be pouring in a little bit. But uh, got a pretty good campsite. We're all set up. Check out camp. Mosquitoes are pretty bad right now, but uh, weather's really nice. Maybe 70 degrees right now. Got a nice little lake behind us. Not a bad spot in case the storm hits, but another great day. Looking forward to tomorrow. I think tomorrow's going to be our last full day in the wind, so sad to see the trip come to an end, but uh, we've had a great time so far, and we'll make tomorrow another great day. Yep, mosquitoes are pretty bad. First time I've ever used a head net in my life. <laughs> Can you see him? Can you see him? Yeah, they're not great. No. Good morning. It's day six of the trip, day five in the Wind River Range. It's about 8.30, we got a late start because we only have about 10 or 12 miles to do. Slept great last night, we had a little rain come in, it was pretty cool. The mosquitoes were insane, so it's a good night to go to bed early. Uh, like I said, we have about 10 or 12 miles to do, it's kind of dark and dreary, it's maybe 60 degrees, maybe 55. So it's cool and we got some rain coming in, so we'll probably get a little wet, but... It's our last full day in the Wind River Range. We're going to end at uh, Photographer's Point, which is five miles from the end of the trailhead. So, excited for another day, but this is definitely the worst weather we've had, which is still nothing to complain about. Looking forward to another great day in the Wind River Range. Check it out. Oh, I got a nice little storm about 10 minutes after we left camp. It was cold. It's hiking up Lester Pass right now. Temp dropped quite a bit, but then as it does in the mountains, sun came out and heat right up. Check it out. All right, top of Lester Pass. Could climb up, huh? Not bad. Not bad. I don't know, what did we start at? Nine something? Yeah, 11,560. It's pretty good. I think it's just gonna be one of those days. It's thunderstorms all day. Got another pretty good one coming in at us. Backside of Lester Pass. Not bad at all. Lots of little lakes. I've got sunshine on a cloudy day Another cool lake with no name Mandatory foot wet. 
Not too shabby. First moose of the trip. It's coming right down the trail at me. Wasn't ready, didn't have my camera out, but was able to follow it a little bit. And hopefully he got the shot, we'll see. Couldn't tell based on the footage, but I'll have to rewatch it and see if you can see anything. But another great day, this is the last full day, so definitely trying to soak up every last minute. What a place, what a place. Probably can't even see it. Just a ridiculous view of the trees. It's just crazy how good the views are here. This is Eckland Lake, just south of Titcombe Basin. Awesome spot. The shadow and everything is just it's perfect. I mean, it's the reason they call it Photographer's Point. I feel like usually you're let down by places that are named like this, but this is pretty fitting. Camp for the night, Miller Lake. Gonna get up early, hike back to the trailhead, and out of the winds, unfortunately. But it's been an amazing trip. Caught some fish, got some really good hiking in, some amazing views. Been an awesome time. Little rainbow trout. Wish there were more, but one's better than nothing. All right, we're on the hike out to, what's the trailhead? Elkhart. Elkhart Trailhead. So as you can see, we're all bundled up. It was pretty cold uh, last night. Not quite freezing, but pretty close. So we only have about a couple miles left till we're at Elkhart Trailhead. And unfortunately that means end of the trip, but the winds delivered, I would say. We had high expectations going in but I think expectations were at least met, if not exceeded. So the Wind River Range was amazing, and the two moose and the mule deer we just saw were just icing on the cake. So if you're thinking about the winds, make it happen. It's an excellent place to go, definitely one of the top places I've ever been. So... Load lock. Load lock? <laughs> All right.